Hello, my friends. How are you tonight? I'm so happy to have you here. I have something special for you tonight. I hope you're ready. I'm going to be sharing something that you maybe never thought about when it comes to the law of attraction. So here I am going to share. You have the opportunity to learn something tonight, and I hope you appreciate it. For those of you that are watching me live, I'd love to hear some comments, content suggestions for the next broadcast. And of course, let me know where you're listening from. And uh, by all means, if you're watching the replay, I'd love to know where you're listening from and what you thought of my uh, content and the subject for tonight's episode. By all means, ask questions, make comments. I have no problem with that at all. We haven't met before. I'm Dean Brown, father of five, uh, professional businessman, high performance life coach, and a digital affiliate marketer. I empower professional men and dads to suppress their emotions, their limiting beliefs, excuse me, to face their suppressed emotions, limiting beliefs, and self-denial so that you can embrace life without guilt, without anger, without hate, and to manifest your highest vision of peace, love, and profit in life and business. I'm a brother to those that know me, a friend to those that don't. I am so happy to have you here tonight. I am talking about how the law of attraction attracts people into your lives. So, as I've explained many times before, the law of attraction is powerful. It is something we all work with. We all experience these natural laws just like the law of gravity and this is an opportunity for me to share with you how to be aware of how you attract people into your life with the law of attraction if you are struggling if you're having a rough go and you can't seem to find the people that you need to help you get where you need to get it's all about how you're thinking how you feel about what you're thinking what you say about how you feel and what you're doing about all three of those things. If it's not in synergy, or if you're thinking something negative, you are going to attract negativity into your life, my friends. I've proven this over and over again with myself. Research supports it, and this is an absolute fact in our lives, my friends. So, first of all, are you trying to build a business? Are you trying to scale a business? Are, are you dealing with someone that you're struggling with insofar as, you know, your judgment makes you angry when you see that person or you think of them or you, you know, uh, you could be an ex, it could be a coworker, it could be a boss, it could be a vendor, uh, it could be a street sweeper, it could be the, the barista where you get your coffee, it could be anybody, it could be anything. But I want to share with you the power that you have to attract the people you need and want into your life desire, I should say, because one gives the impression that there is no availability for that desire to be manifested. So my friends, I'm going to teach you how to manifest the people that you want to have in your life, that you need to have in your life. There I go. I'm a natural instinct to say want, but it's all about desire, my friends. Desire is what motivates us. It is the thing that connects us, and it is the thing that drives us. So my friends, law of attraction. Remember those four things. So are you having negative thoughts with respect to someone in your life? Are, are you having negative thoughts about yourself with respect to people in your life? Uh, life? Or are the things you're trying to do with your business? What is it exactly that you're trying to accomplish in your life? Now, I'm not going to give the full explanation here. I'm giving you the teaser here so that you'll be prepared to understand what I'm going to share with you in my private Facebook group, My Personal Reality. If you're not already there, and you want to hear the rest of this story and understand exactly how to take care of this for yourself and in your life and in your business, then search My Personal Reality. Click the Join button, answer the questions, come on in and be part of the family. Looking forward to having you. And it's going to be a great opportunity for me to share exactly how powerful this is and how much you can change the people in your life. And I don't mean change them how they think, but change who is in your life, the people that are, are attracted by what you think how you feel about what you think, what you say about how you feel, and what you're doing in the synergy with all of that. My friends, it's so powerful. And if you are struggling with people that are in your life, there are people there that you don't want, or you're not finding the people that you do need, maybe you're looking for a virtual assistant, maybe you're looking for an intern, maybe you're trying to hire an employee, maybe you're trying to uh, promote somebody, or, or find somebody to promote, or, or you know, 
to hire, whatever the case may be, whatever the challenges that you're facing with respect to people in your life, this is your opportunity to learn how to deal with that from a, a law of attraction perspective. So here we go. I'm going to give you an example of how I'm doing it and how it's working for me. So I, I'm a busy man and I, and I, you know, building my business, doing the things I have to do, and I'm trying to free up more of my time. So I have two choices with my awareness. I being aware of how busy I am and how much I'm, you know, how many clients I have and all these different things that I need to do. I can approach it from two different angles. I can tell myself that, oh man, the things are going so, you know, this way and that way. And, you know, have a negative essential, you know, a foundation of negativity with my thinking and just tell myself, you know, I can't do it all. Uh, you know, uh, I'm struggling with this. I need a better system. Uh, I don't have enough time. Uh, maybe I'm procrastinating. And, and I bet the whole idea that I'm sharing with you right now is how we think negatively about how, what we do when we're building our business or living our life. Uh, it, it could be a brother. It could be a sister. It could be a neighbor. It could be a friend. It, it could be your mom or your dad. Uh, it could be your kids. Uh, it, it could be any of these things. But having a negative thought pattern will manifest more, more negativity because, first of all, you'll start with judgment. And as soon as we go into judgment, we're no longer in love. We're no longer vibrating in the emotion of love. And this is where our power is. Our power is in the emotion of love, my friends. You, you have a choice of how you feel. What you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're saying, and what you're doing is your choice. It's not based on what other people are doing. It's not based on it's that person's fault. It's not based on the news. It's not based on the weather. It's not based on, you know, I have a headache or any of those things. It's based on how you feel. And I just want you to understand that. So when you're thinking about this, keep in mind, you get to choose what you're thinking. So like I was just sharing a few moments ago, is there, you know, people in your life, the people that you're, you're trying to attract or the people that are already there, what is your thought pattern with respect to them? Are you thinking positively or negatively? So let's just for argument's sake say that you are thinking negatively. When you bump into that individual, you're for, you've already been thinking negative about them. You've already been dreading the, the circumstance when you do bump into them or have to come home to them or have to go to work to them. Or, or meet them at the store. Maybe it's even a store clerk that you don't like. I mean, it wouldn't, of course, you can always go to a different store. I get that part. But maybe it's the only store that offers the product you want. And that the time that you go is always the time that that person's working. These things sometimes are not in our control. We are not control, in control of all those external things. We are in control of us and what we think and what we feel and how we deal with that. So you're experiencing this individual that stresses you out, pisses you off, whatever the case may be. Understand that you're judging them, that you're not giving the full benefit of yourself, of your love, of your ability to be a kind person. We are human beings. We're spiritual beings having a physical experience. This whole thing that we're doing that's called life is supposed to be teaching us how to do things better, not how to be a, a crab and not how to, you know, be worse every day. We're supposed to be working on ourselves, on our on our inner growth, our inner peace, to be 1% better today than we were yesterday. And if you can't find a place to be positive in your thought patterns, you're never going to get there. Understand this, my friends. Be aware. Remember, we're born with awareness and choice. Be aware of what you're thinking and choose your thoughts. It's a powerful, powerful stimulus response thing. And you are in control of who you are, what you feel, what you think, what you say, and what you do. Embrace it, my friends. Embrace it. So you're inter in, uh, um, interacting with this individual, and they say or do things that you don't like. Is it your fault or their fault that you don't like that? It's not their fault. They don't do it to upset you. It's who they are. You don't have to attack them. You don't have to criticize them. You don't have to to um, ignore them. I mean, you can, but it's not going to make things get any better. Understand that if you show love to that person, maybe offer some help, maybe ask a question or two. Now, people don't always want your help. So that, you know, that's a tricky one. You have to be careful, but you can always say, you know what, this is a coachable moment. 
and, I, and I'd like to help you. Would you like some help with that? And if they say no, then that's fine. But you've already shown a positive attitude by doing that. You've already shown some love by doing that. Remain in that positive attitude. Remain in that positive vibration of love. And understand that the more often you do this to this individual, two things are going to happen. First of all, you're going to get into a different thinking pattern for yourself. And you're going to start having less stress, less anxiety about that individual. And that individual is going to start to be affected by your positive attitude. Have you ever been in or gone into a room where you could feel the energy was negative or positive and you just knew as soon as you walked in the room whether it was going to be a good time or a bad time? Or have you ever been around a person that's happy or sad and found yourself reflecting or absorbing their energy with respect to that happiness or sadness? This is a choice. Now, we, are, we can be affected by that and allow ourselves to be affected by that, but it's still a choice. You can choose happiness. You can choose to be positive. It is your choice. So there you go. Those two things are happening. You're rewiring your brain to be positive about that particular individual, and that particular individual is experiencing that vibrational rise from you, and they will be affected by that. Now, I've had this happen to me uh, in a former job of mine as a security uh, supervisor where every day this particular individual leader of a department would come into the building and they were miserable rah, 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 cursing and swearing and gruff under their you know look like they, they just got hit by a train with respect to you know, being full in full anger they missed their train all the every day whatever the case may be but they were not happy and yet i always said to this person with great joy hey it's good to see you this morning how are you today rah, 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 and on they went right this went on for Oh my, this went on for almost two years. And every day this person was rah, 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 rah. but one day they came to me shortly after coming to work. They showed up gruff and angry. And then a little while later they came to me and they said, Hey man, you know what? I have to thank you. You're the only person that's been kind to me every day and never stopped. Why are you doing that for me or to me? We life happens for us, not to us, right? Just so you know. But that broke the ice, and I had the opportunity to share my inherent love for all people and just say, look, man, right, I, I, I feel for you. I, I, I'm sorry that you struggle and are angry all this time, and, and it's going to make you sick. And I just wanted to share my love with you and help you break out of that. And from that conversation, we became good friends, and that person stopped being angry every day. They started showing up happy, and they started saying, hi, Dean, how are you? And it was, you know, we ended up having a good, friendly relationship. The point is, you have that choice every day, every moment of every day. And not giving up is key. Don't give up. So now we're going to talk about attracting people that are not in your life yet. This is the amazing power of the law of attraction. This is something that a lot of us do not understand, are not in a position to embrace, and don't realize that we can do something about it. So you want to attract someone into your life that is... Maybe it's a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a partner. Maybe uh, it's, you know, somebody new for your business. Maybe it's somebody you, you're, you're thinking that that house is empty and you're, you're the one beside you as a neighborhood. And you're thinking, I would really like to have nice neighbors there. Think about this. Are you going to have positive thoughts or negative thoughts? Are you going to be in a place where you're feeling positive about who's going to end up showing up in your life? Or are you going to have be in that place where you're always thinking negative? You know, they're going to be this. They're going to be that from a negative perspective. Or I am looking forward to them, you know, being helpful. And I don't know who it's going to be, but I know they're going to be a positive influence on my life. Now, recently, I have been searching for interns, virtual assistants, to help me with my workload. Because as my business builds, I need more people to help me out. I need more systems. I need people that understand artificial intelligence. I need people that understand bots. Uh, and I just need to be able to build up my my employee base. So I've been, of course, doing my prospecting, my outreach, doing my sales, building my content, building my business, um, you know, in, in certain places where I'm thinking, wow, I really like the way that person did that. How did they do that? And I would connect with them. And I would say, you know, hey, man, I love the way that sequence, that email sequence went when, when you and I connected. And, and how, you know, this made that happen and that made this happen. What do you use? What tool do you use? And let's get together and talk about that. And, you know, I'd love to hear more. And from that positive perspective, I have attracted 
many more clients, many more joint venture partners, many more people that want to share their skills and abilities because they're responding to my positive attitude, my positive outreach. And I have in the last little while attracted many, many people that have reached out to me because of that. For whatever reason, the law of attraction attracts and manifests many things based on what you think, how you feel about what you think, what you say about how you feel, and what you do in synergy to all those things. And if you're just consistent and you stay positive, positive things will be manifested by you. Remember, it's your choice. Be aware. It's, it's tough. It's not easy. You've got to be in, in, a, in a place of awareness moment by moment. You've got to realize that, oh, wait a second, I'm thinking negatively here. i got to stop. Oh, excuse me. That was a good apple I ate just a little while ago. But I've got to stop thinking negatively. Don't spank yourself. Thank yourself because you were aware and noticed. And you have the, oppor excuse me, the opportunity to change that. Be in a place where you are aware of your thinking patterns, aware of your love or lack of love vibrational broadcasting. What you broadcast to the, to the quantum field is what you get back. The universe is a mirror to us. We are supposed to be spiritual beings, and our ultimate spiritual um, broadcast is love, the vibration of love. It's the highest vibration when it comes to emotional awareness and, and broadcasting. Embrace that. Be aware. Give yourself permission to do it. You know, be human. Of course, we're human. But be aware of our moment by moment. We live moment by moment. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. Try doing something in the past. You can't. Try doing something in the future. You can't. Try doing something now. It's the only place you can do something is in the now. So understand that that is where our power is. Our power is in the now. Do you have the ability to attract what it is that you desire in your life? It could be wealth. It could be relationships. It could be anything. But tonight we're talking about people the people that you want to attract. And now this goes with the people that are already in your life. If you show positive responses to those people that are in, in your life, even if they're having a bad day, you're going to help them. And if you're consistent, like I was with that fellow at my old workplace, you're going to change them. That's not going to be you that changes them. It's going to be your vibrational love that makes them aware that they need to change themselves is what I meant by that. So be encouraged by this reality, my friends. Be aware that this is how it works. So I'm going to go into this in depth tomorrow night in my private group, My Personal Reality. Search it on Facebook. Just search out My Personal Reality because I'm not going to put out the link. Uh, you can just find it on your own. I want you to be able to have the skills to do this because I find that people, that when they get the link, they don't follow all the instructions because I've already made it too easy for them. And I'm not the kind of guy to make things super easy. I like to, to uh, encourage you to put a little effort in and to actually do something that brings a better you out of the picture. So my friends, search my personal reality, join the group, answer the questions, do all those things that you would do in, in a good community, private Facebook group, and join the family. Tomorrow night at uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be sharing all of this stuff with you. If you want to make connection with me tonight, or any other time, I'm just going to share my email with you. I'm going to share my website with you. I'm going to share my link tree. That's where everything is. And you can always pause this and go back afterwards. If, you, if I click through it too quick and you're wondering, wait a second, I didn't catch that. That's okay. You can watch this video and pause it and use, you know, copy paste or whatever the case work might work. Because I'm using StreamYard, I don't believe that copy and paste will work. But you can still type it out by looking at it. Oh, there's my cat crying because I, I locked him in the room. <laughs> so tonight we're talking about how the law of attraction brings people into our lives. Tomorrow night I'm going to be giving you a full episode on that for my private group. So by all means, come on into the group, and I'll be happy to share with you, my friends. Much love. Looking forward to it being a positive experience, and we will see you there. Are you happy? Are you ready to do this? I am looking forward to sharing with you and giving you the strength of who we are and what we do. All right, my friends, here we go. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Here comes that outclick with that awesome owl.